Why did I build my own CNC enclosure? In this video I'll tell you the story why I built my own CNC enclosure and how I did it. I built my own enclosure because, look, my CNC and all the other machines are in the workshop at my parents' house. And they got really, really angry because of all the chips of the milling process flew in every corner at the workshop and also in other rooms. And there was also dust everywhere. As we all know, nobody wants angry parents, so that's why I built it. And there are also a lot of shitty looking CNC enclosures on the internet. That's why I tried to design it in a good looking way. I don't know if I managed to do that. I let you judge on that one. In general, I like designing and creating stuff, but at that project, because I used 20 by 20 wood profiles instead of aluminum profiles, because I thought I would save a lot of money, and therefore the whole system wasn't really rigid enough. And also, working with the polycarbonate plates were a really pain in the ass, uh, because the cutting process of that plates with the 2.5 millimeter thickness was, was really, really shitty to work with. I built the enclosure because I thought I would then do more CNC projects. But if I'm really honest with you, I think I only did one project after I built the enclosure a month ago. But in the end, I think it was a really successful project because when you mill wood or other materials there's a lot of dust and chips are flying all over the room and now i really have all the dust and uh, all the chips in the enclosure so it makes cleaning a lot more easier and i also think it kind of looks cool so if you also like to build it or want to build it I can send you the 3D data where you can customize it to your own size and need. And I would also appreciate if you give me a feedback on that one. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy how it turned out. But working with the wood profiles and the polycarbonate plates were really, really pain in the ass. <laughs>